good morning, good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I hope you've had a really, really good week so far and are excited about the upcoming weekend. Um, awesome. I think the camera is over here, but I keep looking over at that corner. So sorry about that. Um, anyways, so thanks for being here. Um, I wanted to do kind of an unboxing with uh, my latest beauty counter order. Um, this was a really big order for me. I uh, was out of some other stuff. Um, so I don't use one of the questions that I have gotten is, um, do I use beauty counter exclusively for everything? Um, and no, I don't because there's a lot of really great products out there. And, um, so I love beauty counters products. I use them every day in my house, but I also use other products as well. So, um, I'm not just saying beauty counter is the only company that I use or that you should use. Um, I just really like their products. I like the performance of their products. Um, and as far as safety goes and really making sure that they're adhering to super high quality and safety standards, there are very, very few companies who even come close to doing what Beauty Counter is doing. So I know that if I order a product from Beauty Counter, um, that is going to be safe for me and for my family and my friends and the environment and everything. So um, anyways, but so this order was super huge because I had ran out of some products and I also wanted to try some new products. So um, I've been a um, client of Beauty Counters uh, since 2014. It was late 2014, early 2015 when I really started using their products. And um, so, but I kind of got stuck in a rut with what I was using. So I was using mainly their, um, their body care stuff. So their body wash, their shampoo, uh, conditioner, lotions, lip stuff, um, and then some makeup as well. My makeup routine is super, super simple. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram last night, um, about how easy it is. I literally don't wear much in the way of makeup. Um, so I even stepped out of my comfort zone and got, um, a couple of new makeup products to try it as well. So, um, this was a really huge order, so I'm not going to talk a lot about um, each individual product and like the benefits and what it does and everything because we would literally be here all day. And I don't think we want to be sitting on Facebook all day. So I'm going to just pretty much give you like an overview, show you what all I ordered um, and give you a little like snippet of why I ordered it and why I'm excited to try it. And then um, in the coming weeks and months, I'm going to be doing more like specific product focused videos so that you... Um, can see how I'm using it, why I'm using it, um, and that kind of stuff. So if you have questions about specific products, definitely feel free to leave them down below. I'll answer every question that I get. Um, but just know that I am going to do some more focused videos in the future, but I want to honor your time, um, and not keep you here all day. So let's dive in. Um, okay. I'm super, super excited. Um, so I've been using their just regular, uh, shampoo and conditioner for a while, but, I um, find that it's a little bit too heavy. So I have, um, apparently, according to my hairdresser, I have a ton of hair, but it is really, really fine hair. So um, it gets weighed down. Like, um, I, you know, I washed this yesterday afternoon before date night, um, and I used a little tiny bit of cream conditioner on the ends um, just to make it easier to comb out. Uh, but it really kind of starts to go flat pretty quick. Um so I have actually, I was using a different brand of shampoo as a volumizer, volumizing shampoo. And so um, I wasn't having to use any conditioner with that shampoo. And I haven't for a while because I use henna in my hair. Um, and henna is a natural conditioner. And what I noticed is that whenever I was regularly henna in my hair, um, I never had to use conditioner in it. So Conditioner, even the volumizing conditioners, um, they just weigh my hair down. So I just had to totally give up on volumizing conditioner. So I was literally just using shampoo. Um, but as long as I kept my hair henna regularly, I never had any issues with like knots or um, like pulling hair out or anything like that. So um, the last time I henna my hair was in January. So I don't, you can't really tell on the video, but you can definitely see where it's growing out. So I'm actually not going to henna my hair for a while. Um, cause I'm curious to see what my hair underneath looks like because I have been using henna since 2009, I believe. So almost 10 years. Um, and it's permanent. So really the only way to get it out of your hair is to just let your hair grow out. 
So just as an experiment, I'm going to let it grow out. I want to see what my natural hair color looks like. I want to see how much gray and white hair I have in there. Um, and my natural hair color back in 2009 before I started henning was kind of an ashy blonde color, kind of a gray blonde. Um, I think they call it mousy blonde. Um, so I just prefer to be a redhead and I love what the henna does for my hair. So long story short, what I've noticed is that because I haven't henna since January, I think the beginning of January is the last time I did it. Um, the shampoo, like my hair is starting to tangle really bad with just the shampoo. So I've had to start adding a teeny bit of conditioner in, um, just to be able to comb my hair out, uh, when it's wet. So, um, I decided to go ahead and order, um, the beauty counter. This is the, uh, volume and shape, um, conditioner and oops, hold on. I have the wrong thing here. Wrong bottle. I have the shampoo in here somewhere. Um, or you know what? I think they forgot to send me the shampoo. Now that I look at this, I have two conditioners and no shampoo. So I'm going to have to email them about that. Um, but in the perfect world, um, as soon as I get it, I will have the volumizing shampoo. And I'm also going to try the volumizing conditioner. So I was a little hesitant about the conditioner because um, every conditioner, even the volumizing ones, weigh my hair down. So I will keep you guys posted on that. But I'm excited to switch over to this and see if it helps improve my hair um, and my manageability and the volume while I'm not henna -ing. Because if I let this grow out, so this is since January, it's probably the line is kind of right through there. Um, you know, this is going to be like a good year or so before it's long enough to really see what my my hair is doing under there. And I, I don't know, I may give up before then. <laughs> I might just go back to using henna because it might drive me absolutely insane because it's going to start looking pretty funky when it gets down there. But I'm just curious. I want to see what my hair is doing under there. So um, so volumizing, uh, conditioner, shampoo, super excited to try those out. Uh, my super dear friends over at the curious coconut, Amanda, she has been using it. Um, she also has very fine hair that doesn't have a lot of body in it naturally. And she is getting really great results with this. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, as soon as I get my shampoo, um, beauty counter does, I have to say they have great customer service. So in this case, I'm just going to literally shoot them an email as soon as I'm done with the video and let them know that I'm missing my shampoo and they will send that out. So, um, no big deal there. Let's see. Um, okay. What are we going to do next? So I have, um, the cleansing balm. So, uh, this is kind of part of more of their just regular skincare line for the most part. Um, the cleansing balm is great. Uh, if you do oil cleansing on your face, which I have done for a long time, um, is this is a really good replacement. So a lot of people use like coconut oil or avocado oil or olive oil. Um, but if you want something with, um, a few extra things in it, um, and again, all of their stuff is non-toxic and chemical free. If you guys look down below, I posted, um, I don't know if you can see this card, but I posted a link to their never list. And this is, um, this is the list of the ingredients that they absolutely refuse to use in their products. So this gives you, I like, um, this is a bunch of little cards that they sent me with my order. Um, so I like to keep this in my wallet, um, so that if I'm ever looking at a product at a store, like even my health food store, um, I can pull this out and just double check and make sure that none of these are on there. Cause these are really some of the worst offenders. There's a lot of chemicals out there that are impacting our health, but these are the ones that they absolutely prohibit in the use of their products. So these are super handy. Um, and if you look down below, I think yesterday or the day before I posted a link to that. So you guys can go check that out. Um, so the cleansing balm is just a really great way to just use, use it to cleanse your face. Um, and I'm going to use it kind of with the, um, the oil cleansing method that I'm familiar with. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, let's see what else I have here. So I actually ordered, um, so many things. Okay. Here's two products that I've been using for years. Um, the hydrating body lotion and the hand cream. So one thing I want to say about beauty counter products is that, um, they last a really long time. So they're super concentrated, very high quality ingredients. And what I've noticed is that they compared to like a bottle of body lotion that I might buy. It's just kind of a more normal brand. Um, the beauty counter stuff lasts a lot longer because you use a lot less. So you might be, um, used to like here in Colorado, my skin gets really dry, um, especially during the winter. So sometimes I've got like this huge handful of lotion to put all over. And I noticed with the beauty counter stuff, I have to use like 
half and sometimes less than what I would use from a normal product. So um, that is a great thing for me because you know, investing in clean skincare and kind of cleaning up your skincare routine, it can get really expensive, especially if you try to do everything at once, which I don't recommend. Um, but it's nice to know that when I invest in these products, they're going to last me a long time. So it's not like I'm going to run through this bottle of lotion in like three weeks and have to buy more. Um, a bottle of lotion, the last bottle that I used, it lasted me a good four months or so. Um, because I was having to use so little and then the hand cream will last even longer because it's even more concentrated and I really don't have to use the hand cream except during the winter um, because my skin gets super super dry during the winter during the summer it doesn't get as dry but the hand cream is great for in the winter and I put this on before I go to bed so that it has time to soak in kind of like an overnight hand treatment so these are two products that I've been using since the very beginning um, and I still love them Let's see what else I've got going on. Okay, sunscreen, because it's summer and we are all outside. Um, well, a lot of us are outside. Um, I really don't use a lot of sunscreen. As a matter of fact, I can't even really remember the last time that I did use sunscreen. I really try to practice safe sun habits, I guess you could say. Um, so if I'm going to be outside, I try to be outside either early in the morning before the sun gets up high in the sky or in the late afternoon, early evening. And I try to not be out there a whole lot during the middle of the day. Now, sometimes I'll go out, like if I'm focusing on getting um, a lot of body exposure for just a short amount of time, just to get that vitamin D production going in your skin. Um, I sometimes will go out around noon or one or two when it's really high and, um, and really hot. Uh, but I only stay out there for a few minutes, like never more than 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the very, very most. Um, so I try, like, I try to just do sun, well, I guess you would call it safe sun practices. Um, so I really haven't used sunscreen in a long time, but, um, we, you know, just a lot of you guys know, we just recently moved. And so we're in a house now with a yard and I have a little container garden in the back. And sometimes it's not super convenient for me to get out there, um, early in the morning or later in the afternoon. Sometimes the middle of the day is the only time I have to be out there. So I decided to go ahead and get some of their sunscreen. So they have, um, a brand new mineral sunscreen mist, which everybody is raving about. They absolutely love it. I have to go out um, around 11 or so and do some gardening after I get done with this video and everything. So I'm actually going to use this today. Um, and then they also have a little, this is like the little travel size of their sunscreen stick. So this is teeny tiny. Uh, it's 0.5 ounces. So you could just toss it in your purse or if you're traveling, toss it in your bag. Um, this is a three fluid ounce bottle as well. So I will, um, I'm not taking these out to show you guys, but let me show you just what this little bottle looks like. Um, so it's a little spray mist, um, thing. So I'm super excited to try this and see, um, how I like it. Uh, even I'm going to keep up on my safe sun exposure practices, but this will be great for those days when I need to be outside. And sometimes I just get that craving to be outside in the sun and I want to feel that heat on my body for whatever reason. So I can do that in a safe way now. And, um, I'm getting to like the little wrinkles and stuff. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I do know that my skin is starting to age a little bit and that overexposing it to the sun is not going to be super helpful as I continue to get older. So these are two great products. I would say um, some of their most popular products are their sunscreens because sunscreens can be some of the most toxic products out there. And they're not just bad for us. They're also bad for the environment. I shared an article from a couple of years ago down there about the damage that sunscreens are doing to the coral reefs because everybody's at the beach and they're, you know, putting all the sunscreen on and then they're getting in the water and it's rinsing off and it's actually affecting the whole ecosystem of the ocean. Um, and that's continuing to get more and more um, coverage. There was actually an article that I read just last week about it as well. So um, just something if you're, you know, if you upgrade your sunscreens, if nothing, if you don't do anything else, if you just upgrade your sunscreens, you're not only helping your health, but you're helping the health of the environment, which is super important as well, because we really are just overwhelming our poor environment with all of these chemicals and stuff that we use every single day. So any little bit that we can do to help, um, is good. So, okay. So that's the sunscreen. What else do I want to talk about? Let's see what else I've got in here. Um, okay. 
So since I brought up wrinkles, um, I, it's, you can't see it on the video. I'll try to do some close up photos before I start using this. Um, I started noticing in the last year or so, um, that I'm starting to get some fine lines and wrinkles, uh, especially around my eyes, some on my foreheads and then around my, um, or my forehead. I don't have multiple foreheads. Um, <laughs> and some around my mouth as well. I, I don't really like, they don't freak me out. So, um, I know like, you see a lot of commercials on television about how like terrifying it is whenever women start to age and, uh, oh no, we've got wrinkles and all of that stuff. And so I kind of view the fact that I'm getting some wrinkles, but the fact that I've been able to live this long, there's a lot of people that don't get that ability, um, to continue living. So for me, aging is not something that I'm super scared of and I'm not going to go like full out, like, anti-aging war. Uh, but I do want to start supporting my skin a little bit better. So everything that we do when it comes to food and nutrition is super important for our skin. What we put in our body affects how our body looks on the outside. But um, we also sometimes need to just give it a little bit of support on the outside as well. So I decided with this order that I'm actually going to start trying their counter match uh, system. So they essentially have um, a couple of different like systems or collections, I guess is what they call them. Um, so they've got their more like basic, uh, skincare collection. That's great for, um, you know, teens and young adults, um, and even adults who don't have any major skin problems, which I don't. Um, and then they have their anti-aging line, which is the counter time collection, which is a lot stronger anti-aging products. Um, so for people who are really starting to get in, aging and they maybe are noticing a lot of wrinkles or bags or dark spots, stuff like that. Um, excellent line for that. But they um, didn't really have anything for kind of that middle of your life stage um, time uh, until they release this counter match. And so counter match is almost like a, um, like a pre anti-aging, I guess is how it's been explained to me a little bit. Um, but it's great for people who are kind of in between, like we don't have this youthful spring chicken skin, but we aren't quite ready for the full powered anti-aging stuff as well. So, um, I spoke to a friend of mine who has been using this line and she encouraged me to try it. So I'm going to try to do my little wrinkles and stuff and the fine lines. They're so hard to see unless I'm like way up close in the mirror. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get photos, but I'll be able to tell if there's a difference in that. So um, what the counter match line does, I'll take this bottle out. This is the um, adaptive body moisturizer. So you can use this all over, um, but I'll show you. Here's what the bottle looks like. And I have to just say, I, one thing, like they always say that we eat with our eyes. So when food looks good, it's going to taste good. I kind of feel like we do that with skincare products too. When the packaging looks pretty, we feel pretty putting it on. We feel excited to use it. And I have to say, I love Beauty Counter's packaging. They keep it so clean and simple and elegant. You really feel like you're getting um, a really high-end skincare product that's good for your skin. So um, it just excites me. So I got all of this stuff and I looked at the pretty packaging and I was like, I'm so excited to use all of it. Um, so this is the bottle of the lotion, but there's also a ton of other stuff in this line. Um, so we have, uh, the cleansing milk, which is great. There's different cleansing milks out there. This is kind of like either, um, either people really love cleansing milks or they don't like it. Um, I tried this just as an experiment. It sounds super refreshing. I'm excited to see how my skin feels after I use it. Um, and then we have, let's see, which one did I just show you? That was the body moisturizer. So I have an adaptive moisture lotion. Um, and then we have an intense moisture serum. Um, and then the eye rescue cream. So this is their, I think that was everything. Oh, hold on. There's one more thing from the, oh yeah, the recovery sleeping cream. So there's um, one, two, three, four, five, I think five or six items in their counter match um, collection. So I'm going to start on these. And for my entire life, I've been kind of a tomboy. Um, I am a jeans and t-shirt kind of gal. I grew up in the mountains, running around, playing outside, chasing chickens, uh, grew up with horses. 
Um, so I'm kind of a mountain girl. I keep things really simple. So I felt a little intimidated thinking like, oh, I'm going to add all of these skincare products into my routine. Now I'm going to have to spend all this time doing all this stuff every night and every morning. And so, um, but after I was reading about it and talking to people who are using it and seeing how my skin is changing as I get older, I'm actually really excited. And I'm excited to see how I can incorporate these products um, and improve the health of my skin, but still keep it really simple. Like I don't want my beauty routine to be overly complicated. Um, I know some people really love just that process of, of doing their routine. They have a very intricate night routine or a very um, uh, intricate uh, makeup routine that they do every day and everything. And they love it. And that's, that's absolutely awesome for me. Um, I've never been like that. So I just, I want to keep it really simple, but see what I can do to support my skin. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm going to be sharing about that as well, because I think this specific collection of products is going to be really great for certain people who are maybe not quite ready for the full on anti-aging line, um, which I didn't feel like my skin was quite ready for that. And I also think there was a little part of my ego that was like, no, you can't buy the anti-aging stuff yet. So, so I felt like this was a happy medium. Um, so super excited to try that. Let's see what else. I've got a few more things in here, um, skincare related. So, um, I got the, um, charcoal. You guys may, if you've been seeing beauty counter stuff, you've probably seen their charcoal mask. So they have a balancing charcoal mask and then they also have a charcoal cleansing bar. Um, these are super popular. I think they released these products about a year or a year and a half ago and it just exploded. So their number three line, um, which is what the charcoal stuff is. Um, this is more geared towards people who have more skin conditions, like maybe some acne, um, or some other skin problems that they're dealing with, which I thankfully have never had any severe skin problems. My skin for the most part is really normal. I never had any, um, acne. I get a pimple here and there. Um, it's never been overly oily or overly dry. Um, it's kind of just a normal balanced skin. Um, so I don't need a ton in the way of these kind of heavy duty, um, more skin problem focused, but I wanted to try them out of curiosity because every so often it's just really nice to do a mask and using these, this is not something that I would use maybe all the time, but it's going to be on occasion. Um, and kind of when I want to do something spa like or pampering like, um, and also just to see how it does affect my skin. Who knows? Like it may actually do some really awesome stuff for my skin that I am not even thinking of right now. So, um, that's the number three line or part of the number three line is the, um, the charcoal stuff as well. So, okay. That is it for skincare for the most part, except for some things that I ordered for my hubby. So, um, my hubby has, he occasionally gets, um, issues when he shaves some really bad razor burns sometimes um almost like a rash on his skin it doesn't happen all the time but um I, we've been experimenting with some different stuff um my friends locally she makes an incredible line of handcrafted um herbal skincare products and she's got a couple of like baby oil products that i've been trying with him that work really well but I figured since I was ordering a bunch of stuff for me, I should be nice and order something for the husband. Um, so I actually ordered a few things from their baby line. So I love that they've got stuff for us ladies um, and that they also have stuff for babies because I can't remember the exact number, but I want to say it was around 300. They did. This was like five years ago that I read this. Um, they tested the umbilical cord blood um, of a... Uh, a child and found like 300 chemicals in the umbilical cord blood. So from the very start, from the time that our babies are being conceived, we're kind of setting them up for failure because they are getting all of these chemicals from the things that we're using on our own bodies, but also everything that's in the environment around us. Um, and then they're born and they're exposed to our very toxic environment, um, all the air pollution and water pollution and, you know, even soil pollution and ground pollution, that kind of stuff. Um, and then we're also lathering up our babies with all sorts of different skincare products that sometimes contain some pretty toxic ingredients. So I love that Beauty Counter has a baby care line so that you're not only um, you not only have options for safe skincare for yourself, but also for your babies as well. So um, I decided to try a couple of their actually three of their baby care products. So I have the baby soothing oil. Um, I got the diaper rash cream. 
and the daily protective balm. And so what I want to do is have hubby test this out after he shaves, test each product and see um, if he notices an improvement in his skin or if he has less rashes or less um, razor burn and anything like that. So we are going to test these products out. Um, I've used baby products for him before, so I figured this was going to be a good test. I probably will test this out for myself because sometimes when I shave my legs, um, especially up on my thigh area, I get um, a little bit of razor burn. So I might actually use some of this after I shave as well, just for my legs and test it out and see. Um, but they're super, super clean ingredients. Like um, the, let's see, this is the baby soothing oil. It's um, sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, and jojoba oil. Um, and they're all organic and everything. So super, super clean. I'm excited to try these out. Um, I'll report back. So if you have a hubby or a significant other or a brother or a dad or a son who is having issues with shaving, um, then uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted on how this stuff works. This could be something that might help them. So I will let you guys know how that goes. So making hubby my guinea pig in addition to me. That's why he loves me so much. He's very tolerant. He uh, just kind of puts up with whatever I want him to do. <laughs> so I have a great husband. Um, okay, so the last things are their makeup. So you saw like all of their beautiful packaging for their skincare. So their packaging for their makeup is really pretty too. So all the makeup comes in this, um, the navy blue with the gold foil lettering, uh, which I think the pink boxes are super pretty. Um, and then the tubes as well can be gorgeous as well. So this is the Dew Skin. Um, so like I, I don't, did I talk about this? I talked about it on Instagram. My makeup routine is crazy simple. You guys, um, I've never been one to wear a ton of makeup. Um, I always love painting my nails and I'm going to be testing out some, uh, safer nail care, nail polish and top coats and base coats and that kind of stuff. Um, in the near future, I've ordered a couple of different brands that have come highly recommended. Um, and I've researched them and found, uh, I think one of them is the top eight contaminants free. And the other one I think is even 10 or 11. Um, so that's one thing that I really miss is painting my nails. Uh, I gave up nail polish about a year and a half ago. I maybe even two years now, um, I used to paint my nails all the time and I was using kind of a, a cleaner product from my health food store. And then one time, one day I went and I painted my nails and within a half an hour, I had a horrible migraine. So I don't know if it was the nail polish that triggered the, triggered the migraine or if I was already just being set up to get a migraine anyways, because sometimes my migraines just hit me out of nowhere. And we like to blame that last thing as being the trigger, but sometimes that's not actually it. Um, so I, but I was scared because migraines are no fun and anything that happens around the time I get a migraine, I usually don't do that thing again because, um, I get scared about getting another one. So it's been a year and a half or two years. I'm going to try to give it a go. Um, so fingers crossed when I get that stuff that I'm actually able to do it because I really do love painting my nails. Um, but as far as makeup goes, crazy easy. So I um, I don't even really use a lot of stuff on my face as far as concealer or even cover-up stuff. Um, it's mostly lip gloss, um, sometimes a little bit of lipstick. Um, I do some eyeshadow, some eyeliner, and some mascara. And then I also use an eyebrow mascara. I don't like eyebrow pencils. I feel like they look really weird when I do them. Um, so I use a, a liquid eyebrow mascara, essentially. Um, and that is one of the only products that I have not yet cleaned out. Um, I'm still using um, a CoverGirl one because it works really well and I like how it works, but I have, um, and I haven't found a replacement for it that I really like. And unfortunately, Beauty Counter doesn't have one. Um, so I actually ordered one from 100% Pure that is really clean um, and it should be showing up uh, maybe next week, hopefully. And so I'm gonna try that as well. Um, and hopefully that'll be my replacement because that's that one like cover girl and Maybelline thing that I still have in my makeup routine that I want to get out. But as far as makeup goes, that's really it. Like I don't do a whole lot. Um, I just keep it simple. Um, but I did decide to try a couple of their, um, their foundations, um, lightweight foundations. So they have a dew skin and a tint skin. So the dew skin is moisturizing coverage. It has an SPF of 20 in it. Um, and so this is a lot lighter. Um, a lot of people will use um, just this instead of regular foundation. Sometimes people will layer the dew skin and the tint skin, which is more of the foundation. Um, 
So I'm going to test them out and see, I don't know. I'm, you know, like I mentioned with the little wrinkles and stuff, and sometimes I have some dark circles under my eyes. So I'm just going to see what I, um, if I like it. So this is the bottle for the tint skin. It's a really pretty bottle. Um, so I'm going to give those a try. I can't say that I'm going to be one of those people that gets up and does a full makeup routine every single day, but it'll be nice to have stuff for when we go out on a date night, or, um, maybe we have a special event or something, um, to have a little bit um, of something different. So I'm um, a lot of this order I feel like is bursting me out of my comfort zone. Um, because I got, I have been really stuck in like pretty much the same routine for my skin and body, uh, for years. And so, um, sometimes we have to mix it up a little bit. So, uh, this, like these two products alone, I kind of intimidate me because I never have really worn a lot in the way of makeup. So I'm kind of worried about looking weird, but I'm going to give them a try. So I'll report back on how things go with that. Um, but yes, so a lot of this stuff is just kind of pushing me out of my comfort zone, but I'm excited because we got to do that sometimes or else we stay stagnant. Um, I ordered, uh, one of their little, it was a little makeup, uh, kit. So it came with a bunch of stuff. So let's see what else I've got. Um, Let's see, this is, oh, the concealer pen. So this is one thing that I have used in the past. I have one um, that's getting kind of old, so I needed to replace it. So the concealer pen is great uh, for touching up like little blemishes or little dark spots or even under your eyes. I use it under my eyes sometimes. Um, so this is just what it looks like. And it's um, it's just a, it's a little pump thing, if I remember correctly. Um, you put just a teeny bit on your like ring finger or your pinky finger and you just dab it around. Um, and it's, it's really just for those little touch up spots, not something you would use all over. Um, and then what else did I get? Um, I got a couple of new lip things because I love, okay, let's see. I got two lip glosses. Um, I love lips. Uh, so lipstick or occasionally lipstick, not, I'm not a huge fan of lipstick because I have a weird, thing about how things feel on my lips. So I usually do lip gloss, um, or some, uh, like tinted chapstick type lip balm kind of things. But I decided to do a couple of lip glosses since I'm a huge fan of lip gloss. And so I have these two. So here's the, um, the package for the lip, lip gloss. Um, and let's see, I'll show you my two colors. Got my couch is kind of overflowing here. Um, so I got, uh, these two, so kind of a nude color. This one is their bare shimmer. So this is going to be kind of like an everyday thing. Um, and this one is peony. So I'm curious to see what that actually looks like on me. So I'll have to show you guys once I experiment with this. Um, it feels like it'll be a little bit brighter than what I'm used to, but, um, sometimes it's kind of surprising when you put stuff on, um, you might be a little bit scared of what it'll look like, but sometimes it looks really good. So those are the two lip glosses. Um, and then I have a lipstick that I got as well. So the sheer lipstick. So I have been using their lip shears, but just in their uh, very neutral colors um, since the beginning. Um, and this one actually is rose. Eee! So this one's going to be a little bit darker. So I'm not sure if you guys can see the color. So it's going to be a little bit darker. Um, a little nervous about that one. But again, we'll see how it looks when I put it on. But isn't that beautiful? This lipstick, I mean, this makes me feel like I just went to a super high-end spa or department store and got something absolutely beautiful, um, which I did. I got something absolutely beautiful that is also safe for my body. No lead on these lips, um, no nasty toxic chemicals or heavy metals. Our makeup is just loaded with all sorts of contaminants. Um so it's nice to know that I have something beautiful that actually performs well and is safe for my body. Um, and then let's see, whoa, part of the kit came with, um, the, uh, a blush. And so I don't really need blush, uh, for the most part I have, um, I'm not super fair skin, but, um, definitely more fair than a lot of people, but I have a lot of rosy undertones in my skin already. So really I don't need, um, need blush, but the kit came with it. Um, so this is the hibiscus blush. It's a cream blush. It almost looks like a lipstick. And I actually know some women who have used it as lipstick. So, um, 
let's see, it actually kind of looks similar to the rose color that I showed you in my lipstick um, a second ago. So this is just their cream blush that you can use. I don't know if I'm going to actually need this, maybe during the winter when I'm not outside as much. Um, it might come in handy, but again, I'm going to experiment with it. This is all, a lot of this is just an experiment right now. Let's, um, just try something new and mix it up. I'm in a new house. It's been a crazy year so far. I kind of feel like I need a lot of self care and some pampering right now. So what better way to do that than to mix it up and, and do some new makeup stuff. Um, and then the last thing or second to the last thing, um, oh, this is a facial oil. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, is their mascara. So mascara is something that I use regularly. Um, and this is their volumizing mascara. So I have been using their regular mascara. Um, I think it's the, the lengthening mascara. They have two. Um, I'm pretty sure it's lengthening. Um, whatever their first one was, I was so excited when they finally released a mascara. We, um, I had been hearing through the grapevine that they were going to release one for like a year. So they don't rush products to market, which is you know, sometimes frustrating as a consumer because we want the products now, but it's really great as a consumer as well, because when they finally release a product um, and it's ready to go, you know that it has been safety tested to death. Like um, there was a video I watched one time about like the safety testing that on a lot of conventional products, drugstore type products. And he held up a folder that was like that thin. And then by the time that a beauty counter product gets to market, um, he held up this binder that I kid you not was like three or four inches thick. And that was the safety testing for that product. So it sucks as a consumer when you're excited about a new product and you really want it to get here. But it's also great for us because we know that when that product finally shows up, that it's safe, it's been tested and we are good to go on using it. We don't have to worry about what's in it. So, um, so I was so excited when they released their first mascara, it was probably two years ago now. Um, and so that was like, I went and bought it immediately, but, um, and I'm actually pretty much out of my current tube of that. So this time I ordered the volumizing mascara, which I'm really excited about because like my hair, um, my eyelashes are kind of thin. Like they don't have a uh, really thick, long, lush eyelashes naturally. So I have to kind of do some work to build them up if I want kind of that really, um, like stunning look. So I'm excited to try the volumizing one. I like their, um, their regular one, but I think the volumizing one is going to be really awesome. So super excited about that. Um, I'm, I'm going to post pictures like when I'm putting on the makeup and stuff like that. I might even show you what my, um, my makeup application routine is, uh, again, all pushing me out of my comfort zone because it's not stuff that I would normally share on social media, but, um, you guys have been asking for stuff like that. So I want to show you how I'm using it and, uh, give you ideas and examples of things that you could do in your own skincare routine. So the last thing is the brightening vitamin C oil. So i um, super excited about this product. I haven't tried any of their skin oils. And so this is the number out of their number one line. You can kind of see it right there. Um, it has vitamin C in it. So that's great for just helping um, cut counteract the oxidative damage that we get, especially during the sun or during the summer when we're outside in the sun all the time. So I'm going to be using this on my face. I'm probably going to start this tonight. Um, and so I'll keep you guys posted on all of that. So you can use this just, um, like on its own, or you can apply it under a moisturizer. So if you wanted to apply it in the morning before you're going outside, you um, just apply like the instructions are four to six drops. Um, I have found that sometimes I need to use even less of their products than what they say on the directions on the bottle. So, um, I might only need like three drops. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but you can, it's lightweight. It's not going to leave your skin like super, super oily or greasy looking. So it kind of, it really sinks in and just leaves it nourished and, um, conditioned. So the oil stuff can also be a little bit, um, too much for people or they think it's going to be too much because they envision that it's going to like sit on their skin like a layer of oil but all of their oil based products or like the facial oils and even the cleansing balm and stuff like that like they don't just like sit there and um and look super greasy and oily they soak in really really well uh to the skin so let's see i think that was everything so huge order i've already kept you guys here forever so um definitely stay tuned if you um want well 
not stay tuned, but let me know if you have questions about any of the specific products, but stay tuned for more um, videos coming in the next weeks and months and stuff like that about more of the individual products and how I'm using it. Um, really excited to talk to you guys about the counter match stuff and let you know if I notice any difference in some of the lines and the wrinkles um, around my eyes and my mouth and stuff like that um, and see how we're doing. And yeah, so if you guys have questions, let me know. Um, I have, let's see. Um, oh, hi, Clarice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I will. Um, I'll let you know about the mineral sunscreen. I'm going to either use it. I probably will use it today because I've got to go out and um, I started my little container garden and it's not doing so great. The soil is icky. So I'm going to work some compost into it. So I'm going to be out in the sun um, and it's already kind of warm out there. So probably going to use it today. So I'll definitely let you guys know um, if you're not following me over on Instagram, um, and you you happen to be on Instagram, I would love to connect with you over there. I am doing a ton of stuff over there, stories and sharing a lot of posts. And that's where I do a lot of like the photos, um, and the quick little videos of just like my daily life. So if I'm, um, you know, applying the cleansing balm or something, I might do a quick story about it. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you can find me at, uh, my handle is just delicious obsessions over there, or you can search for Jessica Espinoza and you should find me. So it's Jessica Espinoza or delicious obsessions. You sh should be able to find me. Um, but I would love to connect with you over there as well. Cause I'm doing a lot of stuff over there. Instagram's just a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. People on Instagram are really cool and it's fun to be over there. So I'd love to connect with you over there if you guys are on there. Um, but I'll also be in this group every single day to, um, or almost every single day. I'm going to be sharing articles, uh, with you guys about safe skin, body and home care, because home care is another thing like beauty counters just focus really on skin, makeup, um, skin and body. But we also need to be conscious of the products that we're using in our home, like to clean our home and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be talking about those things too, because that's very important as well. So lots more to come. I appreciate you guys being here with me today. I had a couple of you guys that were here for the entire time. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. So let me know what questions you have. Um, and yeah, I will be back again soon. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a wonderful and safe weekend. So I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye everybody.